Hey y'all, so in this video we're going to talk about matrix multiplication in Python and we are also going to talk about how to use the NumPy package and why it's useful. Um, go ahead and look at my first video if you haven't already because I talk about how to download a package installer on a Mac um, and also how to install Python packages such as NumPy. Um, I will go over that really quickly again since this video is about NumPy. Um, but the first thing I want to talk about is how to do matrix multiplication just with for loops, um, which will demonstrate why NumPy is important. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create two three by three mat or two three by three arrays, um, x and y, and I would recommend using simple numbers for this, just so you can see um, how the matrix multiplication works with these loops. Um, the next thing we want to do after cre we create our two 3x3 three three matrices, um, we want to name our resultant array. Um, we want to say um, result equals, and we want a 3x3 three three array of zeros. Um, this will change, obviously, from our loops that we create. And if you all know anything about matrix multiplication, um, the reason this is a 3x3 three three matrix is that um, it takes the outer dimensions of these two matrices that are being multiplied together. So since this is 3x3 three three and this is also 3x3, three three, the, the result is going to be 3x3. Three three. Um, if, for example, this first one was a 5x3 and you're multiplying it by y, um, it's going to have a 5x3 result in er, array. Um, so first we want to iterate through the rows of our x array, and I'm just going to comment as we go. So we want to say for i in range, and we want to use our length function, and that counts how many elements are in the rows of x. Next we want to iterate through um, our columns of y, and we're going to say for j, because it goes i, j, k, etc. Um, for j in range length y bracket 0, um, this specifies um, that it's going through the columns, colon. Finally, we are going to iterate through the rows of y. So you're going to say for k in range length of y, colon. Um, the last thing you want to do um, is write result i bracket j and that's going to um, be defining each element um, and I would recommend going through and doing this um, multiplication by hand um, to see how the loop works. And um, so next we want to do x bracket i k. Um, again, go through that by hand if you'd like to have a greater understanding of that. Um, and then we just want to print our result. Um, so make sure this is all the way to the left. For some reason, it comes up with this. If you don't do that, um, that's what I just figured out. Um, but obviously this is not very efficient because we could have very large arrays and um, we don't want to be having to go through and typing out these loops um, when we can just use someone else's work that's already been created. Um, in other words, using NumPy for matrix multiplication. Um, so we're going to start a new file since we are transitioning into NumPy. Um, 
Just as um, a reminder, in order to install NumPy, you need to go to your terminal and you need to type pip3 install NumPy and hit enter. I've already installed this, so I'm not going to do that. Um, so first you want to type import NumPy as np, and that just creates a shortcut for all our functions, so we don't have to type out NumPy every single time. Um, so we're going to call this first array a. We're going to say a equals np dot arrange and we want a 12 element array for this first example dot reshape and let's make it a 3 by 4 this is defining the rows and columns and this is defining the number of elements um, we can also just do an array and not specify the number of rows and columns and just say arrange 14 if we want 14 elements that's just going to create one row um, finally, we can also just create our own and we don't have to give them a number of elements, um, rows and columns. We can just define our own. We want to say np array and you just create it um, as you normally would, outer brackets. Um, so for our matrix multiplication, we are going to use the function np.matmul. Um, so let's call this d. And let's do, um, let's go ahead and do, this one is a 2 by 3, and this is a 3 by 4, so we can do a and c. That's just the rules for matrix multiplication. The inner dimensions need to be the same. Um, and we're going to go ahead and print that. And I'll show you what happens if you choose major C or arrays that don't have the same dimensions. Sorry, all my dogs in the background. Let's see. Are they not the same? 2 by 3, 3 by 4. Oh, my bad. We need to do C first. Then the inner dimensions will be the same. Um, so here's our final matrix. Um, but yeah, y'all just saw what happens when the inner dimensions are not aligned. Um, it comes up with this error. Um, I also want to show y'all how to do element-wise matrix multiplication. So we can just say E equals A times, um, we want a matrix that's the same dimensions, that has the same dimensions. So let's say A2 equals NP arrange 12. And that's going to do um, element by element multiplication. And we want to print that. So here you can see that it takes each element um, and multiplies it by the other element in the same position. So um, in this array we just had 12 elements and it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to uh, 11. Um, and then this was the exact same, so you can see that 0 times 0 is right here, 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3, um, goes all the way up to 11 times 11. Um, that's probably obvious, but I just wanted to make that clear. Um, the next thing we're going to do with NumPy is we're going to go through how to do slicing um, of arrays. So let's say you just wanted one column or one row of an array. Um, and you want to name that to a new variable or um, something like that, this is really useful. So I'm going to comment slicing using NumPy. And I'm just going to use that same example I used in one of my other videos with um, my sister's names and grades in different classes. So let's just say this is called grades, and we're going to use our 
function that creates an array. So let's say Kaylee, some random grades, Maddie, and then Allie. All right, so for slicing, what we want to do, um, we want to say um, print, and then we want to have the name of our array, bracket. Um, so let's say we want, um, let's say the first two rows, um, and we want column one and two. So let's say colon two, because that's going to give us the first two rows. And then we are also going to say, zero comma one all right forgot that outer bracket up here don't forget that yeah so here you can see that it um, basically just sliced the first two rows and the first two columns. So um, that would be useful if um, someone asked for two students, two, two specific students and what their grades were for maybe English. Um, we could do that. Um, and you can also, again, you can name that to a new variable. So you could say English equals And we have to print English. So there you go. Um, those grades are just named to that new variable. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. But my next video is going to continue talking about NumPy. I'm going to show you how to add rows, add columns, delete rows and columns of arrays. Um, we're going to talk about sorting using NumPy, maybe a couple other quick functions. Um, and we'll also talk about loops if we have time. Thank you guys for watching, and see you in my next video.